It's been four days since the shooting at Noblesville West Middle School, and already a flood of support has been pouring in for the teacher many have been calling a hero. A GoFundMe page has been created for the seventh grade science teacher Jason Seaman, and today we caught up with the student who organized it all, a student that Seaman had never met until yesterday. I must give a special thank you to Jackson for starting the GoFundMe page. Uh, I can't really fathom how someone I have not personally met would do such a, an act of kindness. Although the two had never met, Noblesville High School senior Jackson Ramey knew there must be something he could do for a teacher who had sacrificed his life for the safety of his students. Like, I need to figure out a way to help this guy. This guy is a hero. He did everything he could. So Jackson came up with the idea of a GoFundMe page. When I first started out, I put out 4000 because I figured it was a pretty achievable goal. The goal was quickly achieved. And as more and more donations pile in, Jackson's goal continues to grow. It is still going pretty strong. With the page now getting national media attention, Jackson is hoping his page will provide the relief Jason Seaman and his family deserve. The goal of the GoFundMe was to repay back a deed that cannot be repaid. On Monday, Jackson played in his high school baseball sectional championship with Jason in the crowd. And after the game, the two finally met. We shook hands, he gave me a hug. Jackson is very happy about the success of his page. However, he says his joy is deeper than just the money. It's more than the monetary value. It's about how the community rallied behind something. Who knows when the donations will come to an end. But what we do know is that a seventh grade science teacher and a graduating high school senior were Strangers Friday, now forever connected. Hopefully, I hope he doesn't have to worry about anything other than recovering. A GoFundMe page has also been set up for Ella Whistler, the 13-year-old girl that was shot in Siemens' classroom. If you'd like to donate to her page or to Siemens' page, you can head to our website at wishtv.com for more information. Reporting live in Noblesville, Colton Howard, 24-Hour News 8.